This is the one we've been waiting for. The squad, the structure, the stadium, the whole kabang. This is the club. How's it going everyone? Back to normal seated position and we are buzzing because we've landed the job at Angers SCO in France. Now they're in the second division of France, it's just the tail end of the season, they've just finished the season, they've finished in seventh, which according to the media was a bit of a disappointment because they were expected to win the league. So obviously they've sacked the last fella, they've brought us in after our exploits with Bosnia and this is the one that we are so excited about. So looking around the club, you can see the reputation of the club up here is three stars. So we're moving on up from our two and a half stars. They're in League 2, France, which is the 29th rated league. Again, that's another step up. Back to the club though, you can see the stadium there, it's beautiful. Capacity, 19,350. More steps up. Perfect grass condition, well happy with this. Average wage, now that's a big, big thing. The average wage of the first team squad is 10,900. So you can see... We're used to chipping away with players on like six, seven hundred pound a week. This is the big time in this Stinger Man save so far. Beautiful kits, look at that beautiful black and white stripes for home. Second kit is pretty similar to the to that one, which is a white kit. So we'll probably be playing that third strip quite a lot, which is that teal little number. All sponsored, all branded up. Lovely. Big old squad. Look at this, big old squad and there's some quality in there. I've had a little look at it and there's some key names to look out for here. Now you know you're in business when they tell you your key player is this lad and his value? 9.5 million. We have not been anywhere near to this throughout this Stingman save so far. This is the quality we're now at. This is the kid, he's only 21, he's worth, he's worth 9.5 mil. You can see some of his standout attributes. He's an attacking midfielder, he's dribbling, his first touch is 19. That's the best I've seen at that age for time. He's from the Ukraine, he's not in their national team yet. Passing's 15, determined 19. Personality's determination is superb. Agility, he's gonna be a proper player. We're gonna find a role for that guy in his favorite position. Now listen, there's quality players throughout the team, there is. And it, it brings a different challenge in a way, because I'm used to scratching around trying to find a decent player to put a team together. On this occasion, we've got so many good players, I need to take a bit of time to work out who we're going to use, who they're going to be the starting 11, and do I actually need any other players to bring in? Which leads me to the next exciting point about transfers. Now we've just landed, we haven't even got a hotel room in Angers. I don't even know where it is in France. I've done it all by Skype call, I've accepted the job via Zoom. But I've just strolled to the scouting centre and the transfer budget is 25.9 million with a wage budget. 153,000 a week. I don't know what to do. I'm so excited. This is uncharted territory. We have not been in this situation. Let's hope they keep this budget for the next season because this is the tail end of last season. But these lot are minted. You can see why if you look at the transfer history of the season that's just gone. So they've spent 10 million, which is an awful lot of money, on about 13 players. So nothing crazy there. But they brought in 42.5 million. And 34 million of that was this fella, Arthur Eschnault. I mean, you can see why he's gone for the money. Look at that for a player. I probably prefer him to the money, but he's gone to Herver. I mean, what a player, 21 year old. That is, that's a wonder kid. So they've cashed in on him and that's why they've got so much money. Now, all I need to hope for now is that they maintain this scouting budget when the boys come back from pre-season. Because as I say, we have taken over right after the last game of the season. So fingers crossed, we've got that budget. So this is where they finished in their disappointing season. They finished seventh and you can see they're, they've just missed out on the playoffs by two points, which is why the fellas got sacked. They lost 10 games, which isn't a disaster, but they were a whopping 14 points behind Auxerre, trying to get back to League 1. League 1? Not sure if I'm saying that right. 
So this is the challenge for next season. I'm pretty sure that when the media take into effect the squad we've got and the amount of money they've got, we're probably going to be favourites, if not top three. So it's a different type of challenge this. The pressure is going to be on from the get-go. Now, because I've joined at the end of the season, I get to have a good look at player stats and average ratings from around the league. So I can see the teams that have gone down, the teams that aren't going up. And we've got player stats in terms of goals and average ratings and assists. So I can have a little look around here. If I click goals, for example, all the top scorers in the league, these boys may be available because Angers are going to be one of the biggest teams in this league. So they're going to want to join us. I'm going to have a little snoop around now in goals and assists and average rating. Have a little look at the players that could potentially jump aboard the Angus train. Very, very early days with regards to putting together a tactic, but I'm excited to be able to put it together a tactic with some more outlandish roles, if you like. We've been playing so structured throughout this Stingerman save, just grinding results. Unlike the FAF club where we absolutely blitzed the league, but the rest of the time it's been a bit of a struggle. This time we're going to go a bit more expansive. This is a rough, rough idea of where I want to be at somewhere in this ballpark but what the quality of this squad and the budget does open up it opens up me loading up some of my previous tactics that i've used in various clubs such as bruges such as Fenerbahce, in other saves could they potentially be used in this one for example i've got my eyes on the call these tactics by the way there's an absolute truckload of them i had a very successful time in belgium with club bruges using this tactic a sharpshooter tactic this could be an option. We've got roaming playmakers involved there. We've got inside forwards. This could be an option. It's opening up now because the quality of play is going to be able to do this sort of role with your likes of your roaming playmakers or on this one here where we've got an advanced playmaker out wide. Segunda Volantes, Trequatistas, they're all going to get involved in this club. <laughs> staff wise, there's a bit to do on the staff. They're lacking a few coaching staff few medical, a few have gone obviously with the old manager. I've had a quick look at the coaching team and the assistant manager Gregory Aubert seems to be pretty decent, motivating 20, judging player ability is 14, so he's a decent all-round assistant manager. I'm not too concerned about replacing him. We're going to get a few more coaches in just to bulk up the workload and also because I've just asked the board straight in to ask for an extended coaching badge because I want to get up to the air license. They've said I can do it as long as the coach workload isn't spread too thin. So we'll get some coaches in and we'll get another badge on the on the notch for the profile and the reputation. Now speaking of the reputation, the time in Bosnia has done us great. Now you can see the overall reputation is up to 50%. We're halfway there, we're getting there. What I haven't focused on before when I've got onto this screen is our attributes and how they've been building. So here's the attributes now. You can see the man management is soaring up to 16, motivating is decent, discipline, they're all in double figures. We're struggling, we're never going to improve these, which we're not concerned about because obviously they're fitness, goalkeeper, not bothered about that. But the other ones are slowly moving up. Adaptability needs a bit of work. But other than that, they are starting to move up. And our overall reputation remains at two and a half stars. But I'm pretty confident that after a hopefully success, successful season with Angers, we might get there. And on a sub note, look at these languages I'm now fluent at, apparently. English, I mean, that's debatable. Slovak. German, Croatian, Bosnian, Montenegrin, Serbian, Portuguese, French, Italian, and Turkish. Jesus, I can work anywhere. So initial thoughts, having looked at the squad is, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm not going to have to do too much at all, which is cool. Definitely need a goalkeeper, because we don't have one. And I definitely need a more defensive-minded midfielder, whatever the formation we play in, because we've all got attacking midfielders. So even if we up it to this one, we're going to need a defensive midfielder. Or if we go with this one, we're going to need a half-back, stroke defensive midfielder. So those two are the big ones, and then we're just going to see if we can get some sort of X-Factor player, a Galactico player with the wage budget we've got. Maybe a youngster in on loan from someone like PSG or Real Madrid or Barcelona, because we're a bigger team now. We should be able to attract this sort of player, young player, on loan anyway. Plus, with the wage budget we've got, we can do it. That's going to be exciting. <laughs> So we're set, we're set to go, we're about to get into pre-season and we'll come back at some point early in the season, maybe 10 or so games gone. By then we'll have a settled tactic, we'll have a settled formation, and have some new players to look at. One thing I'm going to do, and what you should do as well when you take over a team, is check out the analyst report, where was the issues last season, where was the positives, having a quick look at this, 
Scoring wise, 12 of the 32 assists have come from the left side of the pitch, so we may be strong down that side. Conceding, however, vulnerable against 4 2 3 1, which a lot of teams are, and 13 of 27 conceded assists have come from the left side of the pitch as well. So, very tricky. 4 2 3 1 is always people's bugbear, isn't it? The squad's got a good average age as we look on the team report. Average age of 26, that's a good age, isn't it? Youngest player is 18, oldest player is 33. But I've just actually transfer listed him because he's going to be on his way out. So we'll probably bring it down a little bit as well. Average wage of our squad, like we mentioned, is over £10,000 a week. And the average wage of the league is £5,000 a week. So it shows what stature we're at. We're a higher team, so we're going to have to... There's going to be pressure on us from the get-go. I can see how underperforming they have been when you look at the team report stats. This one... I'm looking at technicals and midfielders through the leagues. That's us in green. You can see we're the highest on so many categories in the entire league that they should have done way better. So they have drastically underperformed this season. So I'm pretty confident we can turn these boys around. I shall see you for the next episode. Hope you enjoyed that one. This is an exciting one. Bit of pressure on it, but looking forward to getting it going.